hope you're well. My name's Faye and today I'm taking you to Lahore Street to make pakoras. Uh, this is a Punjabi snack often eaten with naan or raita. I'll be preparing mine with raita today. Um, so let's start with what we're going to be needing. So today I'll be using one and a half teaspoon of salt. I've got a quarter teaspoon of garam masala. I've got um, half a teaspoon of red chilli powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric, one and a half teaspoon of coriander seeds and one and a half te uh, teaspoon of cumin seeds. I'll also be using about three green chilies, um, two potatoes, an onion, I've got a handful of coriander and mint and I'll also be using basin which is a type of gram flour um, this is about 150 grams and I'll also be using a cup of yoghurt. I'm going to begin with starting to prep um, the onions and potatoes. So I'm just going to cut my potato into small chip like shapes. Um, so this I'm going to repeat with all the um, potatoes. You want to sort of make sure they're a similarish size, but don't worry if they're not. Um, and then I'm going to prepare the onion. So I'm just um, finally chopping the onion um, into sort of uh, half circles. As you can see, my potatoes are now prepared. And while I'm sitting here, or standing here, chopping um, the veg up, um, I thought that I actually want some more spice today. So I'm going to add some chilies to the batter as well as having it having them in the writer so it's up to you if you want to do the same and um, just adjust this recipe to your spice level but I need some spice today my chilies are getting prepared now quite small these ones so I've used a few when you bite into a bit of fresh chilli. That, that's a good meal. So it's time now to prepare the basin, which is, the, um, which is going to be our batter for the pakoras. So let's begin with starting to crush a few of the spices. So we've got the coriander seed and the um, cumin seeds <laughs> and they are going in just um, into a pestle and water just to break a little bit. I love this stage, it just, the smell you get is, um, it just gets you excited for pakoras. <laughs> I've just broken them up a little bit. It's not in a in a um, a powdered form. It's just um, they're just slightly broken a little bit. Now I'm going to add everything to the gram flour, the basin. So in there you go. And then we're going to add the chili powder. turmeric a little bit of garam masala and the salt I'm just going to give that a little mix just so that it's evenly spread throughout the flour And I'm also going to add my green chilies as well. I've 
just added my green chopped chilies. I'm going to mix those through. And I'm also going to add a little bit of coriander as well, um, just for some freshness. So I'm going to just prepare that now. So this is now going in. mix through okay so it's now time to add the water now this is um we just want to take this step by step because um we can always add more water and um, we can always add more flour but we just want to make sure that we can get a nice consistency um, that's going to coat the vegetables nicely. So I'm going to give that a mix. And we're looking for quite a runny texture, um, but enough so that they hold on to the potato and onion. You're also welcome to use any other vegetable you like. Um, if you've got something else to hand that you want to use up, this is a perfect recipe um, for veg that you just um, have in the fridge, um, waiting to be used. So with a fork, you can use your hands, it's totally up to you. Um, I'm just making sure that there's no sort of floury lumps. Um, I'm trying to just mix it all through, make sure all those spices are um, folded in nicely. I'm going to need a little bit more water, so it's definitely thickening up. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit more. Just so it becomes a bit looser. So I've folded this in now, um, you can see that it's a slightly runny texture, it just kind of falls off, um, it's all folded in nicely, so this is the texture you're after. Don't worry if you add too much water, you can always add some more flour, but this is the kind of consistency you're looking for. And now it's time to mix in the potato and onion. I'm just going to take that over here. I'm a little bit worried that my bowl is not big enough to mix everything in, so I'm going to use a frying pan, but I recommend you just use the biggest bowl you have. Um, just to be able to coat this and do this properly because it is a bit messy. Um, it's the problem when you don't have all the equipment. But uh, it, it, this will do, it's fine. So now it's time to add um, my veg. Um, so I'm just going to take it all in my hand, scatter it around the pan. And then I'm going to mix it all together and make sure that the batter coats it all. So just gently fold it all in until the batter has coated everything really nicely. So the batter should start to grab onto each um, to each. Um, <laughs> cut up the veg um, and it should stay there. If, it, if the batter's a bit thick, maybe add some a little bit more water and um, it should be able to stick nicely. I'll just show you here. Can you see it's coating it's coating this bit of potato nicely. So that's the kind of effect you want. Obviously if it's running off and there's a lot of liquid at the bottom um, you probably need a little bit more flour but it's fine. Just Keep mixing it in until it all looks something of this here. 
I think this is quite a fun one to do with young children. It's a bit messy. Um, it's, it's a fun thing to eat. It's tasty. So um, if you're looking for something to get the children involved, I think this is, um, this is quite a nice one to do. Now that the batter is prepared and ready, um, it's now time to begin heating up the oil. Now today I'm going to be using a wok. Um, this is the deepest pan I have. Um, you can also use something similar or another pan that you have um, that will just gather a lot of oil at the bottom because we are going to deep fry today. So I'm going to turn this on to a high heat. Um, I've already got some oil left over. It's always good to save your oil from the last time you've made bakoras or something similar. So I'm just going to add a little bit more now. It's a lot of oil, that's why it's good to be able to save it. Um, and that is absolutely fine to do that. Um, I do that whenever I make bakoras. Use it maybe two or three times more um, and then just keep using fresh oil after that but it's absolutely fine I just store it in the cupboard and um, you could also use this oil for other cooking as well um, but I tend to save mine for the next time I make bakoras as this dish is very popular um, we like to snack on this on bakoras with tea quite a lot so um, yes that's what <laughs> that's what I do so just going to wait now for this to um, to get nice and hot and then we're going to begin adding the mixture. While this is heating up, I'm just going to explain that I'll be using some kitchen paper um, so that once they are, once the pakoras are ready, I'm going to transform, transfer them onto a board. Um, and I think the kitchen roll just absorbs any last bit of oil um, that might be on them it just keeps them nice and crispy so I feel like this is quite a good technique so if you've got some some tissue or some kitchen paper um, I recommend you just anything when you're frying um, it just absorbs that oil and they become a little bit more crispy for longer okay my um, oil is now nice and hot so I'm just giving this one last mix just to make sure that um, the batter's coated nicely so let's give this a try so just grab a bunch and then in they go and what should happen is they should float to the top and if they float to the top that's a good sign that the oil's hot enough they're cooking it's creating a lot of air inside um, the bakora between the vegetable and the um, and the batter. So if I just show you now, you can see already they've um, cooked a little bit. We're going to wait for them to go a lot more brown than this, but that's um, they're floating nicely. So that's what you're aiming for. And what I'm using is actually um, a tool that is I think often used for spaghetti. Um, but it's great because um, it's got holes at the bottom and that will just drain all the oil. So you could use like a sieve, um, a little um, a net if you've got, just to, a metal net obviously, um, just to drain the water, drain the oil even. Just be careful if you are doing this with young children that um, you're accompanying them. It's very dangerous. There's a lot of um, hot oil. Um, so it's best really for an adult to do this bit. So they've turned a very nice colour. Um, and this is what I'm doing just as I take them out the oil, just to make sure that there's no, um, if there's, it's not absorbed too much oil, it's not going to sit in too much oil. So I'm just going to then place it on the side with the, on the paper. Oh, 
And now I'm just going to repeat this process until I have all my lovely bakoras. It's a good time now, after you've done a few, just to see um, if they're cooked, if you've fried them long enough, um, also to see if um, there's enough salt in there. Wow, that's nice. For me, I'm just going to add a little bit more salt. Welcome to Lahore. Mm. Please try my bakoras. Let's see. 10 rupees I want for that. 10 rupees? Is that what was? Well, that's a lot. No, it's <laughs> not. You can make it daily and give you 10 rupees daily. <laughs> 10 rupees per bite. <laughs> what do you think? They're very nice. Yeah? Happy. For me, even the salt is perfect. Okay. Yeah. I've added a little bit more salt. I mean, just about uh, maybe a few pinch worth of salt. It's, it's totally to your taste, really. So while you're preparing, should I start snacking? You don't, don't eat them all. You've gone through one already. <laughs> so anyone watching from Lahore, um, if you ever had uh, pakoras from Lakshmi Chowk, um, they taste exactly the same and um, I remember eating those with naan and raita and um, I'm going to do some naan bread and raita to go with these. I think they're really nice. <laughs> I'm going to have to look the shop up now and see the reviews. Mm. I want to have mine with tea today, I think. If you see, uh, they have nice coriander leaves. You can actually see coriander seeds on them as well. That's what brings a very nice texture and taste to these pakoras. And that's the way, authentic way to do it. <laughs> that's an authentic way to eat them as well. Yeah, that's leave, true. leave none for me. You've already tried, I think. <laughs> mm. I'm just going to eat it and make some tea. Make me mm. tea as well. Mm. They are good. These are going to be finished in five minutes. Right, let's take these out now. Okay, so while Pei is still preparing pakoras, I'm just going to prepare some dhania raita, which is green raita made with yogurt, coriander, uh, mint leaves, um, green chilies, and a little bit of salt. So I've already added um, coriander leaves um, in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three green chilies to it as well and some mint leaves a pinch of salt and about one cup of yogurt simple hand blender at medium setting. Let's see how it goes.
if you see it's a nice green color dhania raita and this goes perfect uh, with these pakoras and if there's naan bread that's even better so the pakoras are all finished um Amir's made the raita and um, so we're now going to taste you see how lovely they all look and they've just been sitting um they're still really nice and crispy um and that paper's just helped absorb any oil which has been um That looks so nice. Can't wait to dip the pakoras in that. Okay. Oh, love, let's eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> I want you to try. Do you try together this time? <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. So you're about to eat now. No, I didn't. One, two, three. Mm. Mm. Your right lovely. They're just perfect. Very, very nice taste to the pakoras. And when you combine it with raita, it's just so refreshing. <laughs> it's just perfect. Nice and crispy, huh? Yeah. I hope you can hear that crunch. They're good. So these are going to be done in about five minutes. There won't be any left. So <laughs> we're just going to sit and eat these now. But um, we really hope that you found this um, video uh, useful. Um, we hope that you try them if you haven't done before. Um, yeah. Yeah. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel and yeah. keep watching. There are lots of more videos coming out very soon. Enjoy! Open.